Can I catch any fish out of a recently flooded upper Brisbane River? So I've come out here this morning, uh, a fact finding mission more than anything else. I've never fished here before. I'm on foot. I've got my GoPro, got a couple of fishing rods, box of lures and soft plastics. And I'm just gonna start throwing lures in the water here to see what uh, what's around. I'm not quite sure how this is all gonna turn out because um, recently, about eight weeks ago, we had some massive flooding in the upper reaches of the Brizzy River, which on flowed all the way down to Brisbane. And uh, this is what you see here. It's a fairly decimated creek. It's been ripped apart by, uh, by flood waters. And like I said, it's about eight weeks out, and um, let's see if there's any interest here. So this is all the gear that I bought this morning, just a, uh, a little bit of food, some GoPro gear, one small tackle box, and three rods, which incidentally aren't really geared up to suit the target species I'm looking for here. I won't mention what they are just yet because I need to catch one first <laughs> okay I'll probably end up bringing the, either the kayak or the boat down here the yeah, access into here is not so crash hot at the moment it's, it's all uh, silt that might give you a clue of where I am those are in the know it's a beautiful morning not a cloud in the sky not that I can see Yeah, so um, this is this is what happens when a when a major uh, river in a major catchment area overflows onto the banks. It just rips everything out. Only the bigger trees or the or the ones that have been here for a millennium are still surviving. They've hung on through all the floodwaters that were well over these branches. You can see just here in the uh, in the video. But the river is cloudy. The water quality is questionable. There's probably not very many active fish here at the moment, I think, but I'm willing to give it a go. As a matter of interest, I've only been here for about five minutes and I'm just, just getting a lay of the land, see where I can cast to, whether there's any good snags close to the bank, where I am. I'm restricted of how far I can go, so I'll probably just stay around this area. It looks pretty cool actually, There's, I can reach some of those snags. And maybe downstream a little bit, upstream rather, a little bit, I can find some shady areas up against the bank. You've got to be in it to win it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I've had a bit of a, a quick scout around for 10 minutes to have a look, see what I'm going to be uh, doing today or this morning. Whew. It's very quiet out here, very peaceful. The bank that I'm walking on is silt, but it, it's fairly hard. I'm not going to sink into it. Probably not a bad little beach to start off on. I'll see if I can reach some of those pylons over there. While I'm filming, I'm, I'm hearing some serious buffing going on. Um, I'll just pan back to the bridge pylons. I can hear some serious buffing, which is probably not a bad sign. My theory here today is, I don't think this area has been fished too much since the floods. I don't know whether the fish are gonna be hungry, active, but I reckon I stand a bit of a chance of getting something here. I'm gonna rig up with a, with a chest cam for a little while, see how I go. Okay, I'm going to start off with um, a little soft plastic.
let's hope that works here. We'll see what happens. I'm going to rig it up kind of weedless. There we go. It is now weedless. Whoops. It's the way to go. I'm going to target that bush. Very peaceful out here first thing in the morning. No one's around. Let's see what's on the other side of that little branch. Might get hooked up in that branch. I'm still getting my casting arm in. It's been three days. I'm out of practice. Nice time of the day. In case you didn't already know, I'm pretty keen on fishing. It's not quite so much about quantities. It's how you get them. How much work you're willing to put in. How far you're willing to drive. Today I'm on foot. A little bit lost without the boat and the um, or the kayak, but uh, I think I'm going to enjoy it. This back to basics. So um, I'm hoping I'm hoping to, to catch a couple of um, a couple of bass today, but there's other species in this river system that I'm also very interested in. One is the cod. I've been I've been fortunate enough to become involved with the Somerset Waibano Fish Stocking Association and. Uh, I was honoured to uh, participate in a in the cod recovery program to help return almost endemic species of cod back into the upper reaches of the Brisbane River. We're always looking for deep holes in drought to uh, deposit fingerlings, cod fingerlings, and to date. We don't really know what's, what's happening with the cod population, particularly after the floods. About 6,000 cod fingerlings were released in strategic areas in the, uh, in the upper reaches of the river system, all flowing into the Brisbane River. But there's no way of monitoring it. We've just got to go by faith. Hopefully they'll They'll grow up to be nice, you know, nice big fat cod. And we can come back and catch them later on. Anyway, enough chat, onward and upward. I've got a cast going right through there, past this. Let's see how we go. All right here then, I've been trying over the other side for half an hour. Nothing. However, I'm still confident. I'll just weed my way through these rocks. I'll chuck a few down under the pylons. A little bit of shade, a little bit of bush. I think I'm in the right spot. Almost went oh, slippery. find a good footing there we go okay let's give this a go what's wrong with these fish let's see what happens I'm gonna go back in where that last little buff was you never know might still be hanging around looking for something to eat Nothing. Hmm. 
Maybe down there. Okay, I've been persevering with a light rig with a pound line uh, for the last 45 minutes with no great results. Actually, zero results. I'm going to fish deeper with a heavier jig head. As you can see, we've got a, I don't know what it is, it's a half ounce, so it'll sink right to the bottom quite fast. So we'll give that a go, out in the middle. Let's see if we can drag in a big flathead. <laughs> Might be a bit too far upstream for that little fella. Anyway, let's give it a go. Go back down onto my private beach. First cast, way out in the middle. No target in particular in mind. So that made it about halfway out, halfway across the river, almost, let it sink. Oh, it must be pretty deep, it's still sinking. Okay, okay, I think it's almost on the bottom. Wow, it must be pretty deep. Anyway, let's start our retrieve. Ooh. There's a big buff underneath the bridge over there. I don't know whether you can pick that up. There's something big feeding over there. The minute I leave, something big comes into the territory. And, and I'm not there, but I'm gonna chuck one over there now. Fast retrieve. Try this out. Ooh, good for a long cast. That's probably about 40 metres over, over to the bridge. It's the anticipation that I like about the, this sort of fishing. It's a big part of the enjoyment factor, the anticipation. I just anticipated I was going to get snagged up, and I am. Look at this. I'm in solid. There's a root there. This is the problem with fishing down deep in choked up rivers. A few tricks, pressure, let go, it's not going to do it, it's not going to do it. It's only a soft plastic, they're cheap, I'm going to sacrifice this one to the river gods. Oh, I hate doing this but I have to do it. Come on, come on, up, ooh, 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 I think I might have got it back. Far out. I think I've salvaged it. Look at that. Still in one piece. I think that's three cars have gone over in an hour. Most of them slow down to see what this idiot is doing on the side of the bank. Oh, look at that. I've, I've got it snagged up in the same bloody snag I had hooked up. Oh, it's come loose. There we go. Going in a bit shallower this time. Started my retrieve straight away. You know what? I'm tempted to try a surface lure. There's something big underneath the bridge, cruising around, looking for something to eat, because the river's been flushed of a lot of little feeder fish. All the rotting organics has been washed away. It's pure silt and muddy water. 
I've only bought a, a basics this morning. I've got some frogs. But I'm thinking about tying on something noisy. Ow. One of those three. Get my vote. For trial purposes. I think I'm going to go with the bubble pop. Makes a nice blooping sound. Which will become evident shortly. Oh, there we go. Awesome. It's good. Okay, whoa. I'm gonna go back over to the bridge pylon with a popper on. Nice little black surface lure. Maybe a bit late in the day for surface fishing, but strange, whoa, stranger things have happened. This is slippery here. <laughs> Remember to stand on the rocks. Okay, let's try the popper. Ooh. Not quite far enough in, but we'll give it a go. Fourth car just went past. You may be able to pick up that bloop sound. That's what you want. Wake them up. Something's in distress on the surface. Go and have a feed. I'm bringing this one in closer than I normally do just to show you what action can be made out of a popper. To a fish underneath, it looks like something is in distress on the surface. Maybe a frog, a little snake, could be a big bug. Fish aren't fussy. They can always spit it out if they don't like it, but at that particular point in time, too late. Yeah, well, as luck would have it, I had the camera off and I got a strike on the surface um, about halfway out where the rod is pointing, just in between this pylon and that pylon. It was just a random cast. Within seconds, bang, no hook up. Didn't come back. I've tried uh, a couple more casts. Well, as you may have guessed, um, it, it, it's another 20 minutes later. I've got even more desperate, but nothing yet. It's funny after you, after you've put in multiple hundreds and hundreds of casts, um, a lot of the finesse disappears out of out of the action that you impart into the lure. I know it, it sounds crazy to those who don't fish with lures, but this is what's happening. Um, a little bit of boredom sets in for me, anyway, and and I'll just put I'll just do a constant retrieve all the way back. You know, lazy man's way of fishing. But I'm covering a lot of territory, and um, that's what I'm going to keep on telling myself. This is this is probably more of a a life whoops a life lesson about. You know, it's not all peaches and cream out there in the real world. Sometimes um, stuff happens and, or in my case, doesn't happen. And I've come to the realization that it's, uh, it's no use getting down on the dumps about things like that. I'm just gonna keep on pranking a surface lure across the top of a river and see what happens for the rest of the day. Uh, knowing my luck, I, I'll probably get the biggest hit ever without the camera being on. So if that happens, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um, throw the whole lot in the water and go home. Really, what could you not like about that? You know, I'm coming to the realization that the Fisher brain did in this section of the river. I could really go a bacon and egg roll. Fair dinkum. All this fishing gear is going on eBay tonight. 
yeah i um i'm i'm renewed i just i just i just had another hit out around all that bush on the on the downstream side of it i'm probably not pointing my chest in the right direction how's that yeah that clump of bush right underneath it right at the downstream part i got i just got whacked uh, the camera wasn't on uh but i tell you what yeah don't bother looking at ebay tonight because all my gear's not for sale anymore there was a big roll um, just over here um not that it's, it, it bothers me because i'm pretty sure that was a big lung fish which is nice to know that they're still alive and kicking <laughs> in um the freshly flushed out upper reaches of the brizzy river anyway back to casting again <sighs> here we go what i said just earlier on about um when you when you get a little bit bored you, you tend to just keep a constant retrieve cast in cast out same retrieve same retrieve well that's the way i work um everything has changed after that last hit i've slowed my retrieve right down and just giving it a bloop every now and then so bloody cars so um what i've been doing up on my little my little beach that i've been casting a lot at from um I actually chucked the popper well it's ended up right down there somewhere now i cast the popper as far as i can have an end that center pylon and 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 basically just retrieve it really really slowly all the way through just let the the flow of the water take it and that's the strategy that, that i'm sticking to yeah I, ju I just had a i just had a brainwave i i I'm, i could i could just keep on <laughs> Keep on trying fishing and, and, and document what I'm doing um, with, a, with a surface lure only and until I catch one. <laughs> so while I'm uh, standing on, on my beach blindly uh, casting a popper as far as I can and retrieving, um, just a shout out to Steve Brown whom uh, I've known for a, a, a long, long time, and, and, and uh, no, I'm not going to get into this. I was just choking. I'm standing here fishing, and all these motorbikes go roaring past. Noisy bunch. But um, got me wondering, what the hell am I doing here? Turning energy into foam on the surface of the water. What a waste of time. Nah, I didn't mean that just standing here casting away and a group of motorbikes go past and I'm thinking to myself you lucky bastards but then again they're not doing this just had a little rise from down there just just on oh. anticipation got it back living the dream anyway that's too close nothing's gonna smash it there yeah nothing gave them every opportunity too okay i've um i've made an executive decision i'm changing surface lures from old reliable not so reliable here so there's something i rarely ever use and that's this it's a surface lure obviously and it makes a lot of commotion on the surface with those little paddles that's what happened that's what's happening and i'm doing it now she's all rigged up ready to lure yeah I couldn't resist that if I was a fish. Let's do it. New anticipation levels have just risen by like 80%. It's in the middle of the day. It's, it's the best time. It's arguably the best time to surface fish. I'm putting it to the test. Right, we're all rigged up with the uh, 
the fizzer. It's called the fizzer. Let's see what happens. This, this lure just makes a lot of commotion on the surface. You can stop, start, do a, a constant retrieve, start, stop, dwells, durations, funky chicken, do whatever you like with these. Walk the dog if you're good enough. My fizzer isn't fizzing the way it should be. This is only my like, fourth or fifth cast and I, I can see it looks waterlocked, but it's a timber lure, epoxy coated. Don't know what's going on. It is about 20 years old. Be okay on a really, really calm bass morning on a dam somewhere. But yeah, this one's this one's lost its maximum impact value, which devalues this lure to be living in my tackle box. It's a pity. It's very pretty. It caught me in the tackle shop. Dang it. I, w I went back to change lures. Um, I must confess, I, 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 I considered moment <laughs> momentarily swapping to a, uh, a spinnerbait. Um, but that would tell you a little bit about my character. I stuck with my original plan. Oh. As wrong as it was, I'm going to keep on chucking this. If nothing learnt today, I've learnt patience and always look on the bright side. Whew. I think this is probably um, the 1,000th cast and retrieve I've done in like a short period of about two and a half, three hours. I haven't had a little bit of time yet, but Whew. it's been, seriously though, it's been fun. Bloody motorbikes. I wish I could be with them today, actually. <laughs> perfect group oh, about five look at that I'm, I'm demolishing my sandpit right there uh, yes okay focus focus onward and upward okay I'm, uh, I'm gonna go I haven't tried this one dragging it around near the pylon so I'm going to do that now. Okay. Oh, I've got my spot. All right, let's give this a go. Whew. The water doesn't uh, flow as fast in this little pool because there's a little eddy current that comes around and whirlpools back again. So fish may be congregating in the shade in the middle of the day along there okay I'll talk myself into it into it the first cast with the new lure on under the bridge is a negative but I've marked out my territory they know I'm here. That anticipation is kicking in again. Equals enjoyment. That eddy current that was going round and round this area here is held my floating lure captive in one little area, just sitting there. It's, nothing's moving, so that's interesting. Anyway, that lure is really, really waterlogged now. 
I've got, to, I've got to be violent with it to get it to react properly. Oh well. Well, oh, I'm still here. Okay. Oh, okay, where are we? I think that's about right. Okay, I've tied on this. Um, uh, it's not a fish, it's a bug. It's a big fat bug. And um, I'm working on, on the, the theory that um, these fish are hungry and they're willing to eat anything that moves <laughs> in the water. Um, it's my theory. I'm, I'm sticking to it for the time being until I actually prove it to be fact. I'll throw this in a few hundred times and um, see what happens. And technically speaking, it's a surface lure. It just waddles a, a whole lot on the surface of the dam, of the river, sorry. Okay, let's try it out. Let's see what it looks like first. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a bug in distress. Yeah, yeah, okay, anticipation levels, they, they're up there now. Let's give it a go. I'll just try a little cast over here first. Yeah, it casts like a rock. Oh, yeah, it's waddling right past that snag. You probably can't see it. That's the trouble with the chest mount, you, can, you don't know what it's shooting. That looks pretty cool, actually. Look at that. Are you guys going to be able to see that? It's got a really nice little action. Hey. One thing that annoys me is that it has this problem. Hang on a tick. It has that problem. The front treble gets hooked up in it, and it's a pain in the butt to, you know, you just want to get back in the water. And you can't, but now I can. First wheel problems. Sorry. So my stubbornness has failed me today. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm going home now. It was uh, a fun morning. Um, probably dawn and dusk is still the best bet for rivers. Um, I was there in the middle of the day throwing a surface lure or lures with um, only two two strikes but they didn't follow through with the hookup unfortunately I'll, I'll i'll keep on trying and see what happens this uh, surface lure thing interests me at the moment so i'll take it where it uh, where it goes see you next time bye mm -hmm.